this does not have a title. This past weekend was a three-day celebration for President's Day. I had arranged to see Dick Griffin, a trombonist, who lives in Manhattan Plaza, housing for in the Manhattan Plaza housing for performing artists is built in 1974 and located on 9th, 9th Avenue and 43rd Street near Times Square. Dick lived on the 32nd floor of the 46th story building. His windows faced east towards the Times Square and the view was blocked by many glassy, shiny, reflective windows of luxury condos and offices. There were even LED screens advertising to tenants living in the area. The window view was like having a big TV screen to look at, so I was giving Dick a, a fresh DVD copy of his performance at Alan Curlis. Lost in Tribeca. Dick was very cordial and we talked about the latest occurrences of fellow artists and musicians. Dick's apartment was very neat with his out of this world art filling all the wall space. I was impressed with his neatness where he gave credit to his mother's neatness and taste. She had passed away a few years ago. Eventually I had to leave to go to the Lower East Side and do a performance at La Mama. The subways were confusing where the D train was running on the F line and I figured to take the A to 14th Street and switch to the L to the 1st Avenue. That would give me time to have my business cards printed at stores in 9th Street and then walk on to East 4th Street to La Mama Theater. On route on the A-Line to 14th Street Station, I witnessed a terrible subway incident. As I entered the car, I saw an Asian person with shoulder-length straight hair approach a tall black man who had his boombox on loud while everyone else were using earphones attached to their cell phones. The person told the guy to lower the sound and went back to sit at his seat. The black guy went berserk all of a sudden it started shouting he went ballistics directly at the asian person's face a few inches in front of his nose then he started hitting the person i could hear the smack a few seats away everybody stood still as the black guy smacked the person again and again some had smiles but weren't sure if they were playing a game or was it for real the black guy took a cell phone and threw it on the floor. The person quietly picked up the cell phone and then it was grabbed again and thrown onto the floor. This went on while the black guy was beating the poor person and making threats. He said, I've been homeless, my parents were murdered, and I got two knives in my backpack. If I had to, if I had it in my hand, you will be dead by now. I was very upset and no one interfered in the argument. People were just standing or sitting as unmoved. Only one woman's voice shouted, leave that person alone. Eventually the person said something in a deep voice. I realized that it was a he and he looked Malaysian. Finally the A train stopped at 14th Street and the black guy ran out of the train with the Asian guy chasing him. As I was walking to the L train through a long walkway, the black guy ran past me and turned to the right where there was an exit sign and stairwell to the train. I saw his chaser stop, looked confused, so I said, he went downstairs. It was, it was the L train where I sat for about five minutes. As the train was leaving the station, I see the uh, black guy was running and being chased by the Malaysian guy and another guy, a good Samaritan. I saw no police during this rush hour and wondered where were they when needed. Thank you.